All right, so we're playing 2,000 points here for our Planetary Empire campaign. Uh, the attacker, I'm the defender, and uh, since I'm in the lava terrain, we're creating each of the tree areas as dangerous terrain. So uh, boiling mud pools type deal. Uh, we're playing the maelstroms where you start off with one and then you generate a maelstrom for each objective that you hold. And that's what we're doing. And we're going to have first strike, warlord, and line breaker too. All right, more to come. We just finished the top of one for the dark elder. There were some gene stealers that infiltrated over there, shot them dead. Some gene stealers that were up on the top, they got shot up by AP2 weaponry. Uh, put one wound. Did I put one wound on a horseback? Yep. One wound on a horseback, and then basically I just shot up a bunch of gods in the front, shot up a bunch of gargoyles in the other side. Since the for this campaign, attackers, their fast attacks are scoring units along with the troops, so I decided to take out the fast attacks best I could. And uh, that's about it. So, so those bolts are gliding? They're uh, swooping now. Okay. So, uh, more to come. End of my turn. End of your turn? I'm a roll for regen. So, they came out and uh, <laughs> shot that, blew it up, killed a bunch of guys. Uh, it was twin link devourers from the uh, first flying high tyrant. And then the second one uh, stunned that one. Gonsal ran forward. They're on some ejecta markers to help them get some ejectas next turn. But they did score. You did score big game hunter, so you got to die for that. And, uh, and you also got first strike, so you got two points. So we're both tied right now. And then um, I got to draw two cards for the two objectives I'm on, and then we'll go on from there. So, top of two. Alright, so we just finished the uh, top of two for the Dark Elder and um, took out Carnifex. Put a lot of shots into the flying high turn, forced the grounding test, passed, threw some shots into Gaunts there, shot all the Gaunts that were here, only one Gaunt remaining, and that is it. So, uh, you gotta roll for your eject, you gotta roll for your Maelstrom, so, and more to come. Alright, so we just finished the uh, bottom of two, and what happened? Blew up Vile's um, Raider, and then her and her Mask Bladers, they got out, and then um, the, the Raider over here got uh, glanced to death, or pinned to death, I can't remember, but it's gone. Horus Vex charged in here, tripped on the way out, I mean, on the way in. Uh, managed to do one glancing hit on the on the hammer. Yep. But then just fumbled with the with the claws. Couldn't get the claws to do nothing. This one did a lot better. Uh, mobilized it on the uh, initiative ten hammer rafts and then had five pinning blows against the other venom. Um, blew up. Uh, but uh, wait a minute. I lost two guys. All right. So I lost two guys in the explosion. And uh, I gotta do a leadership test for them too yet, and then we'll go on from there. Uh, this is Super Saiyan right now, but he's a swooping monstrous creature, so I can't really do a whole lot. And um, yeah, so draw my objectives and more to come. Alright. Alright. So we just finished the top of three. Uh, killed the horseback, killed the carnifex, uh, killed the one remaining gunt. I tried to throw a vitamin. Vitamin Vitae at him. Missed. Uh, tried to kill the Venom Throw over here, but he held out pretty good. Uh, did not ground this, but managed to get a wound on him. And uh, he's super sane, but he's got to go off somewhere. Is the Moloch coming in? It's not. He rolled a one. Okay, so Moloch is not coming in. We forgot to roll, roll from last turn. So that's pretty painful. Uh, well, you got to roll for your objectives yet before you move. Oh, so you got one objective. 46. Six. Didn't you already get that one? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you got domination. I can't do that. No, no, you won't be able to pull it off. So you have to, I mean, you can hold on to it though. So. I'll hold on to it. Or discard it. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, we got to finish the bottom of three. More to come. All right, so we just finished the bottom of three. Uh, I'm still locked in combat with some Hormigants over here. And, um, or is it the Termigants? Hormigants. Hormigants? Okay, so the Hormigants. And then, um, 
did onslaught on them. They got to run. They ran forward on that eject marker, and then they shot here, blew up the vehicle, um, killed one model in the explosion. This flying high tyrant shot the crap out of the vial and her um, emasculators, killed what was it? Five models? Killed five models. And all that five models, that was like... Uh, well, instant death and... Yeah, that was like a hundred points to saw those five models yeah, that you took out. And see, the thing is, I yeah. thought that it was full yeah. of independent characters, so I was like, I'm gonna rack up my points. No, no, no. Only one independent character in there. Uh, these guys were pinned, and uh, by, what was it, horror? Yeah. The horror? He is ugly. And that's pretty much it. Did you score a point? Yeah. Score point? Yeah. I had domination. I'm still holding these. Okay. You did get. Did you record your point for Linebreaker? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So you got Linebreaker. And you're going to discard domination, right? Yeah. So he's discarding domination. So we're in the turn four now. And um, we'll go on from there. We'll see what we get. For, well, I guess we can, how many objectives do I got? I got one, two, three. I got three objectives. I got recon. Um, um, Discard that because we don't do mysterious objectives. Uh, ascendancy, D3 victory points if you control any three objective markers at the end of the turn. Objective 5. And we got uh, secure objective 1, which I'm already sitting on. Alright, so more to come. <laughs> Alright, so recap. Bottom of four. Uh, Mollet came in, uh, drifted from the grotesque. Flying a high tyrant, blew up the vehicle. Um, it doesn't matter because I'm fearless now, so I'm not even bothering to roll. They get up automatically. Um, but they could have been pinned and snap shooting, all that fun stuff. Flying a high tyrant came over here, caused like five pins and seven glances onto a Ravager with a twin link devourer. And that's about it. So we got one, two, three models left for the um, Tyranids. So we'll see what I draw for cards. I have. Is that a fast model? Nope. Okay. So you're actually denying me that objective. So I got one, one two, three. I got three objectives to draw cards from. So more to come. All right, so we just finished the top of five. Uh, we got three models left on the table. Warlord over here. I did try to take him out. Uh, did get a wound on him. He made pass his grounding test. And then you, do you have a, oh, Catalyst, that's, your regen only works during your turn, right? Yeah, it only works. Yeah. Or, okay, so anyways, he didn't get grounded, which it kind of would have been nice if he did get grounded, because then he could charge. Yeah. Uh, but it didn't happen. I tried to assault this guy. Couldn't do nothing. I, I don't know what it was. Is he was just making my feel pains. Yeah, you're making the feel no pains even on lethal. Did you make feel no pain on lethal doses? Yeah, because I made threes. Yeah, you made your armor saves. Yeah, that's right. These guys, uh, the vehicle shot at them. They moved up, shot at them. Those guys moved up, shot at them. They all shot at them. Did nothing. Did nothing. So that's about it. We got uh, two units locked in combat with that Moloch because I had to get, I forget what it was, blood and guts. I had to kill something in the assault phase, and that's the only thing I can assault. Uh, all right. We got to roll for your objective yet. Do you... Oh, no, you don't have nothing. I do not. You do not have any objectives. All right, so we're just going to play out, see what damage you can do with his last two models, three models, and then uh, we'll go on from there. We are? Yeah, we're calling it out on the end of this cause, uh, just because I got so many points. So, all right, more to come. All right, so we just finished the bottom of five. Um, the two flying high tyrants, they survived the whole game. Took a lot of shots. A lot of shots were thrown at them, uh, but they held out well. We're going to try to see if we can get a third one in his list because uh, I think that definitely will help him out in this game. All right, um, I scored. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points. What did you get? Let's see. In the beginning, I got. Uh, you got first strike. First strike. I got the line breaker one. You got, got Mont big game hunter. Yep. Again. What else? Oh, yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was it. So uh, ten, 
Ten versus three. In all, in all reality, though, I mean, there was a lot. I mean, my shooting was on game today. It was. You were rolling sixes, five. And I was wounding. I was wounding higher than normal too. Yeah. So, and I was denying your your catalyst. Yeah. That was sixes. Sixes and fives. I had um, and Manti and Will too with models with 12 inches. Um, and I was causing lower leadership, but that didn't really matter. Um, yeah, I think we can tweak his list a little bit. And it should be a really good thing to contend with. I mean, I like the list. It's just, I think that third flying high turn would do. That's your damage dealers right there. Yeah. The 12 shots. So. Well, if I had my uh, chrome set up, I would have been melting guys because he had a strength six uh, flame template. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or even if you did the even if you did the pyrovores, that would be hurting me. I thought about bringing the pyrovores, but honestly, I think the pyrovores would do better yeah especially if I did the uh, at least against me I, I mean if you're playing me I would go I would go with the pile of wars if you're going against me just because you do the no escape to my vehicles you know yeah all right folks thanks for watching